Hi everyone, this is part two of my basic oil fill map and we will be discussing volumes. We'll focus on rectangular volume, cylindrical volume, and annular volume. So let's start with some, um, rectangular volume, I mean. So volume is just defined as the amount of space something occupies. So many oil fill calculations require you to, to determine how much fluid, how much liquid do I have in this particular um, space or any particular object or any particular pipe, tubing, analogs, casing, what, whatever equipment you might have, how much volume um, can this hold? So your basic um, like rectangular volume, maybe you want to calculate the volume of a rectangular tank, right? Like in this problem, you would use this volume um, formula, which is length times width times height, right? So it's usually expressed in cubic feet or cubic inches. So this example just says, what is the volume of a rectangular tank that measures five feet long, four feet wide, and three feet three feet high? So that's just you know basic math multiplication. I multiply five times four times three. That gives me sixty cubic feet, and I have my answer. So easy, you know, straightforward. If we've done math, we've done um, volume of a cuboid, volume of a cube. This should be very very um familiar. So let's move on to the next thing. So cylindrical volume, um, it just means the volume of a cylinder, right? We are well are aware of what a cylinder is, just a cylindrical shape um, with a circular face. So it's determined with the height and the diameter. So that's how you find the volume of a cylinder from the height and the diameter of that cylinder. So you know in the first video on part one where we talk about area, um, we said area, we broke down area to this form, d squared times 0.7854 times the height because it's simple, it's quick, we can easily put the diameter of our casing or our tubing in there and get our answer. So knowing that, and we can just go straight into the problem. What is the volume of a cylinder with a diameter of 10 feet and a height of 20 feet? So we just plug in our numbers, right? Plug in our numbers, get d squared times 0 0.7854 times the height. So we um, multiply all that out and we get 20, um, multiply, multiply everything out and we get 1570.8 cubic feet. And that's our answer. So straight, very straightforward, um, very straightforward math. You know, like I mentioned, it is the most basic and fundamental course you'll find because it's, it just builds up of your general math context in oil field terms or oil field language. So, so let's get down into it. Annular volume. So just the difference between a large cylinder and a small cylinder. Difference of volume. So basically, when I mean difference of volume, let's say you have two, let's say you have two um, casings or two tubings, a casing and a tubing, or a casing and a drill pipe, or tubing and drill pipe. Maybe one is small, one is large, and I want to find my annular volume, my volume within between the two. And I'll go in depth more on this in uh, my video on capacities. So we'll just use this equation right here that says um, the area, the volume, right? The volume of the annulus is the large volume minus the small volume, right? So I plug in my volume equation, which we used in the previous um, video, in the previous um, slide for cylindrical volume. And I just plug that in, I subtract, I take out my common factor, 0 0.785 times the height, and I have, that's my equation broken down, simple. Um, so I just, let me just go right into the problem. What is the annular volume given a large diameter of 3 feet and a small diameter of 1 feet with a height of 6 feet? And that just basically means, you know, I have my large diameter and my small diameter, I just plug them in. And I do, you know, 9 minus 1 gives me 8. I multiply that by this. 48 times 0 0.7854. And I get my answer. 37.6992 cubic feet. So that's just basically your annular volume. Um, it's very simple, very straightforward. As long as you've done, you know, cylinders, you've done... Um, taking general math courses, this should be very simple, very straightforward. Um, so I'll end here today. 
for the annular volume and on the next video I would um, talk about capacities and I think that will bring it more you know we'll start stepping more into more oil field terminologies so um, I really appreciate you guys for listening um, please do if you have any comments or suggestions put them in the comment section um, below the video thanks have a great day